Hello. Hello. Anyone out there? No matter who you are out there, I am alive. I am Jenny Funk Meyer, and right now, I am alive. And that's why I go live to the whole world. If I want to talk to myself, I would just talk to the mirror, like this. Hello, mirror. I just talk to myself. I don't need the camera. So the fact that the camera is here that means something. What is it that it means? I don't know. It means something. It must mean something. Well, let's ask Jenny. Jenny, how come you're sitting in front of a mirror talking to yourself and pretending that you're talking to the world? Oh, Jenny, that's a very good question. Because I am, my name is Vivi. Vivi Shu. That's my old name before I changed my name to Jenny Funkmeyer. My name was Vivi Shu. Two V's. Last name is H S U. And I had a long, twenty-five years distinguished, very successful career as a filmmaker. So I do like making movies. But I have always been a writer, director. I never dreamed I would be also the actor. Since I was a filmmaker. Which was in the nineties. The whole world has changed. This is two thousand nineteen. I went to UCLA Film School in nineteen eighty four to eighty nine. I got my master degrees in filmmaking from the MFA program at UCLA Film School. So. I learned to make movies because I love movies, and then I jumped into the new reality and, like, I had enough fun with making movie. But apparently, filmmaking is not done with me. I may be done with filmmaking. Filmmaking is not done with me. Now, the entire scene change. I mean, it is possible for me. To now not only be the writer, director, editor, actor, producer, and distributor of my movies, in which I am making right now. Through the mirror, I'm seeing that a few people are watching this. I, you know, I'm a dinosaur. I'm a technological dinosaur because I was born in 1953. 1953, you know, I am older than a、uh, like a lot of people. I'm not the oldest person I know, but I am pretty dang close to like. When I used to consider people to be old, that's me now. <laughs> I used to think, "Dang, 
you are an old guy, and that guy would be like fifty-five. But dang, I'm sixty-five. You know, when I was born, black and white television was just coming into be in Hong Kong. I was born in Hong Kong, and and um, that's right. Since then. You know, like like it was only black and white television. There wasn't this whole system. The iPhone in front of me, which is also a camera and which is a device that could also broadcast simultaneously this live moment and share with the entire world. This was unheard of. I I mean, I didn't even like dream of that. Like I I wouldn't even like. Had the faintest idea that this could be happening right now, and this how this is how powerful this now moment is, and this is how precious it is, and we're sharing it right now through a device. So, in, in a way, you know, this is this is delicious moment. This is heaven on earth right now. This is like our wildest dream come true. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that incredible? Like, I am amazing. If I no, not if I am the creator of my own reality, and look what dope shit I created. iPhone through a guy named Steve Jobs. Thank you, Steve Jobs. But Steve Jobs is just a version of me who has made the iPhone, right? So here I am. Here I am. Thank you, Steve Jobs, who is a version of me. And in my reality, I got a guy named Steve Jobs made this phone for me, and of course, all the people in Apple and all the whole world, China, who makes it, and the 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 the, the people who write the codes. I mean, I can't even begin to fantasize how to make this thing. I just pay two thousand dollars. It's like okay. Two thousand, that's fine. You want five hundred? Take it. You want one thousand? Take it. You want two thousand? Now what? Fuck, it's getting expensive. But take it. I can't live without this thing. This is too magical. This is too good. So, I think I'm just amazing. I'm I'm a I'm an amazing creator of my own reality. And my reality is beautiful. My reality is most amazing. So let's talk about Hong Kong, because I'm I'm I was born and raised in Hong Kong, and I um, I stayed there until high school graduate. I I graduated from high school and then I came to America, and then I landed in Hawaii and went to New York and went to Juilliard School for college. So that that's that's my trajectory. But right now I want to focus on the fact that I am. From Hong Kong, I was like, a large part of me is still in Hong Kong, and you know, as you see, Hong Kong is like, we. I see these pictures with streets just filled, jam with people. That's the thing. That's the thing about Chinese people. There are a lot of them. There's a lot of us. There's like a, a billion. One point, one point two, one point three, one point four, one point seven billion people. Like I mean, like it's unfathomable how many people are just Chinese. You know. So every time you see a Chinese scene, mostly it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. So like this, such invigorating and amazing scene about. You know, just streets filled, just lined with people asking for democracy, asking for for independence. Can you imagine if Hong Kong become an independent country? You know what? I'm going back. I have a birth certificate, man. I I will immediately become dual citizen. I am. Hong Kong American, holy shit! I like the sound of that. So hell, hell, I'm gonna put in my two cents for this struggle now. Yeah, yeah. I know it, it's it's kind of like you know self-serving. 
I'm only supporting the struggle because of what I can do. What how it will benefit me for this、um, march to continue for the independence from China to happen to have Hong Kong as a、um, independent country. I like that. I support that. So I support the march. Yeah, that's how I look at the world now. This is actually a, a rule, a kind of a rule I use, a ruler kind of thing, like a tool. Everything is about me. I'm completely self-centered, selfish, self-absorbed. You know, like if you don't know that about me, you don't know me. Okay, like I don't fucking care about anything but me, me. Now, I actually also don't really care about me. Like, I want you to like me. So it does involve me, doesn't it? But I want, I need you to like me, and then then it's good. Otherwise, I like I like myself. I like that. I mean, I like myself. I, I really like myself. I really think I'm、uh, I'm I'm amazing. So now is the task of me- having everyone around me like me. So it's very self-serving. Everything I do, I calculate it from myself first. So no doubt about me is that if it benefits me, I I would do it. Why not? Right? It benefits me first and foremost. Uh, it benefits me if Hong Kong becomes an independent country, or or an independent autonomous region from China. It's much better for me, so I support that. But I guess if I were Chinese, like if I was like in the Communist Party of you know Central Ruling Agency of China. I may not hold this view, so I do understand why they would not want that, right? Yeah, I see their point of view. It's like, what the fuck? Why do I want to have all these people over there in Hong Kong? And Hong Kong people are very special. They're really different. They call honkers, honkers. Hong Kong people are called. I'm a honker, honker, right? Hong Kong people have been calling themselves honkers. Since quite some time, since the nineties, and now being a honker, it's like whoa, you know, you know this meme, right? Hong Hong. It's like you know, you see things you don't understand. You see things all fucked up. You like whoa. You like whoa. Okay, to quote Joe Rogan, I'm too stupid for this. And you walk away, and you walk away saying Hong Kong. Hong Kong, oh man, wow,、hmm. Hong Kong, right? So this is one of the attitudes we could take right now for this moment in time in history, this epoch, this moment that I'm alive, you are alive, we're going live, live in on June twenty second, two thousand nineteen, at a certain time. What time is it? Twelve thirty-four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Holy shit! It's one, two, three, four. Now that's synchronicity. That right there. You see this time? This time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It is still one, two, three, four. You see this? That's magic on screen right now. That is called number synchronicity on screen. One, two, three, four. That's a pretty magical number. I didn't. I. I. I couldn't. Made that up, right? You saw it happen. So let's talk about number synchronicity. I would like to refer you to a、uh, article that Otis Funkmeyer showed me that Steve Pablina wrote. You can find this article called "Number Synchronicity" on stevepablina dot com. If you don't know him, check him out. He's incredible. I learned a lot from him. Gratitude and love to Steve Pavlina. Special effects. Put Steve 
Pavlina's uh, website right here. Yeah. StevePavlina.com. So number synchronicity, it, it will give you a very detailed explanation of what number synchronicity is. In short, number synchronicity is about, kind. to me, it's a new way uh, of us communicating. This is the, uh, one of the new reality tools that we're using as a, as a bunch of new people who's alive now in the now, right? Not alive in the past, not alive in the future, but alive now. Us guys are creating new language. So one of the new language is when you see number synchronicity, we're going to agree what it means because synchronicity, as James Redfield said, notice synchronicity. James Redfield, jamesredfield.com. Love and gratitude to James Redfield, right? The guy who wrote Celestine Prophecy. Check that book out if you haven't. Celestine Prophecy, the 10th insight, the 11th insight. I read them all. He's now, James Redfield is lecturing all over the country. He's alive. He's talking. He's good. Good. James Redfield. Hell, hell. Shout out. Okay. So let me tell you. To me, number synchronicity is when you see a number, it could be 111, it could be 1234, it could be 222333, you know, like every time you turn on your iPhone or or you're on the phone, and then when you hang up, it says, oh, you've been talking for one minute and 11 seconds, you know, or if you look at your watch and, oh, it's 1111, or you um, go to a friend's house, she lives in 555 Broadway, you know, it's like, all these things, all these beautiful numbers, numbers that look kind of special, you know, 3614, that's, that's a, a nice number, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about numbers that repeat in a beautiful way. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 or, or five, 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 or, or like what just happened? We just saw one, two, three, four. You know, like, oh, what time is it? One, two, three, four. Ha! Ah, oh my God! You know, like, that makes you go, oh my God, that's wonderful, that's wonderful. That that kind of feeling, that kind of feeling I call onk up. I call it like, get up, get happy, get happy. That feeling, the number synchronicity is doing that to me. Every time I see those numbers, I just get happy. It's just for no, you know, like, no reason. I just get happy to get happy. Like, like I find myself some reason to be happy. So number synchronicity to me means get happy. To Steve Pavlina, it means um, like you you with the flow of your own. Yeah, I, sorry. Scratch Steve Pavlina. Jenny Funkmeyer takes the number synchronicity as that I am in the flow with my own energy. More number synchronicity I see in a day, more in the flow I am with my own rhythm of my own soul journey, my own soul path, right? So, so when I see one, two, three, four, I get happy because I am on my soul path doing the right thing. Like, like what thought am I thinking just before I see the number? Is that a good thought? I immediately use number synchronicity when I see the beautiful number to remind myself to check my thoughts. What thoughts was it? What was I thinking? Now, if I look at the clock and it's 11.10, 10 minutes past 11, I would think that that thought was too early to do something. 11.11, I'm right on in sync. 11.12, I'm a little bit late for that idea. So, you know, if I'm late, I can hurry. If I'm early, I can like take a breather and think about it. Or um, the best thing is being right on right now. Mm -hmm. The the thing is, um, the only problem is I couldn't see what you guys are typing down. Hi. Hi, Aunt Jenny. Oh. 
Oh my God. Um, hi. Hi, Wei. Hi. Huh. Sally and Sierra. Jean and Yulin's kids. Oh wow. Hey, I got I got some uh, family members here. Jean and Jean and Yulin's kid. Uh, Wally Sang. Huh. That's awesome. Hi. Hi. Oh, that's that's really cool. That's really cool. Huh. Wow. 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 This is this is so new to me. I'm stunned. I am a I am a new child. I'm a new child in new reality. I'm a newly born person. Alive right now. Everything that is happening to me has never happened before. To me. I'm so amazed. <laughs> Hi, hi, you. We're talking through a camera. I mean, wow, how amazing are we? The few people who's out there who's enjoying this moment together. Do you know how amazing we are? We are fucking dope. We are amazing reality creators. Everything is well. Things are do going well in my life. I'm doing good. Technology is like so amazing right now. It's making these fundamental changes in my life. I mean, like I am shedding all these habits, old habits I have. I mean, it is so painful to shed these old habits that even I don't want them, but they kind of grip hold of me like this, like you do it this way, you do it this way. <laughs> okay, okay, I do it this way. My whole life, I do things one way. <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna do it the same way. I'm gonna have to do things the same way. No. I have to change. There are a lot of new things that have to happen. New habits, new things I have to learn. But it's not just that simple. I wish it was just like that, but it isn't just like that. It is also about keeping things that I can't change. Mostly my dark side. Like my temper, my anger, my my laziness, my uh, negativity, my depression. Holy shit! I I like hold those things like precious to me, and I can't change them. I am not gonna change the things that I don't do. It would be much better if I do them, but I don't. You know, I don't. What am I going to do about myself? Huh? I'm going to beat myself up. You know. You know. One thing, we have so rarely been praised in a big way. Like I, myself personally, I have to say. I think. I think my. This is so painful to say. I don't think my mother. Ever praised me I don't think once actually out loud like holy Christ Choi Dai Hing that's that's my name when I was a, a kid in Hong Kong Choi Dai Hing is my name Choi Dai Hing you are great Choi Dai Hing wonderful good job Choi Dai Hing yes you are amazing! Blah, clap, clap, clap! Yeah, 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 yeah! Chida Hing, amazing, amazing! No, never. She never did that for me. Never. Neither did my dad. Neither did my sister. My 
my nanny as you. No, no one did that. No one, you know, I didn't do that either to anyone. You know, no one go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You are great. You are amazing. You are wonderful. Yeah, yeah, you. I'm talking about you. You are great. You're wonderful. Whom? Hail, hail to you. Love and gratitude to you. Blessings to you. To you. Me, me, me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I pat myself in the back, right? Like that. Like, no, we don't do that. We, we, we people from, you know, my family. We, we're not fond of doing that. We're not fond of like. It's like some family are good at that, you know. They they just do that, but not me. Not not my family. We're kind of serious and negative kind of people, you know. I, I we had you know we we really cherish our mental illness, you know. Um, but, <laughs> you know, I maybe just just me. My my sister is probably mad at me for for talking about her like that, you know, disrespectfully. Yeah, I I pity my family. They they have to deal with me. My I'm sorry. My sister, my mother, my my uh, my two daughters. My uh, you know. Oh God. Oh uh, holy shit. Yeah. They have to deal with me. I've always been like a disgrace. Now just look at me. I don't know why I get like that. Why don't I just say I've always been a really incredible powerhouse in their life? Yeah, I've always been a powerful in. I have always been a powerful powerhouse in my family members' life. I like the sound of that. I really like the sound of that. I'm a powerhouse for the world. I'm a powerhouse, uplifting energy for the world. I'm here to make the world a better place, and I'm a success. I'm most beautiful. Look at me. Look at you. You are most beautiful. You are most wonderful. You, all of us here. Yeah, let's give give yourself a pat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm great. I'm good. I'm wonderful. You are great. You are good. You're wonderful. You are amazing. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Ah, uh, you wave it. Lisa, amazing. Lisa, amazing. Who are you? Dang. Lisa, amazing. Lisa, amazing. You are amazing. I'm amazing. I really like this. Oh my God! Look at how beautiful this this now moment is. This is amazing. Look at these glitter coming down. Oh my God! Ah,、oh, I'm like having an orgasmic. Joyful kick in my chakra system right now. Just, just loving this moment, this joyousness, this magic that I'm witnessing. I see myself one time in the mirror. See, in the mirror, I see myself in the camera. I see. I see myself. Thanks for watching. See you next time. My house.
my app. My lovely life. 